Hello, my Earth family. Welcome back to Korean Listen. Today, I'm going to do a series of phrases that can cause conflict or misunderstanding between Koreans and English speakers. Very interesting. Um, so here we have Jeremy. Hi. Hello. How are you? See, I, I completely forgot what we talked about in the last video because... Oh, you want to use uh, the phrase that you used a lot. Ah, good. Ah, I was going, I was going to try. You want to say 일이 많았어? That's the one. 일이 많았어. What, what is the other one? 별일은 없어? <gasps> Did you practice your pronunciation or... I actually know. <laughs> No, oh, yes. so that's not actually a difficult thing to remember. Yeah, after I watched the video and saw what you were writing on the screen, that uh -huh. made it a lot easier for me to be like, oh, that's how it's pronounced. Uh, oh, by the way, I also have a video about reading Korean letters, so you can watch that. Today I was thinking... Since I am not the normal good teacher, uh, I, <laughs> I wanted to teach you um, the tricky phrases that Korean people use so often and that can cause misunderstanding. This is actually from uh, one of my lectures that I'm taking. Um, my professor did a research um, and then she asked a lot of uh, professors in Korea, what kind of phrases were you confused with when you first came to Korea? The first one is 어디 가세요? Second one is 식사하셨어요? Third one is 입맛에 맞을지 모르겠어요. Do you recognize any of these phrases? The first one, mm? uh, at least know it's like, um, where are you going? Where are you going? Um, 식사하셨어요? Uh -huh. Is it food? Clothes. 음식 is food, right? 음식 is food. 식사하다 is the more formal way of saying um, 먹다? Exactly. Okay. Yes. That's right. perfect, That's perfect. Right. Okay. What about the third one? 입맛에 mm? uh, 맞을지 모르겠어요. Mm. Guess what it means. I have no idea. <laughs> Is mouth. Ah, okay. Mat is taste. Okay. Majirji is basic form is matta. Okay. Which is fits or connects. So morugeseo means I don't know. Yes. Morugeseo means have no clue or don't know. So imas. Ah. 네, 맞을지 모르겠어요. I don't know if this will fit in my mouth. This will fit. Taste good? Yeah, to okay. the person speaking? No. no. This is a question, very formal question. Okay, you need a context for all those three phrases. 어디 okay. 가세요 is where you're going, right? It's simple. 어디 가? Mm -hmm. is a simpler way of saying that. This can be tricky when you meet someone suddenly outside. 어, 어디 가세요? It's not actually asking where you're going. It's just saying hi. Okay. Do you have any expressions like that in English? Like, hey, how are you? Um, that's, that's a similar one because mm. you don't actually really expect like a, a big response to that. Yes. Um, so from the survey, the professors, the foreign professors felt like somebody invade their privacy. As hmm. for the second one, okay. have you eaten? Why would the person oh. care about my meal schedule? Huh? You're not my mom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the third one, let's say we have a circumstance where you are inv invited to uh, a Korean person's house and she has so many side dishes. She has bulgogi, tteokbokki, uh, japchae, and like the table is full. And then she says something like, oh, 맞을지 모르겠어요. 
how would you feel? I I wouldn't know how I would feel because I still don't know what it means. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is gonna be something that you will like. The food. Ah. Okay. 입맛에 맞을지 모르겠어요. Mm, I don't know if you're gonna like this or not. But she ah, has like. Okay. She prepared like so many food, and then she goes like, "Oh, 입맛에 맞을지 모르겠어요." How would you feel? I I can definitely see how that would be very awkward because it's like, well, if you weren't sure if I would like it, why didn't you ask me? Mm. Right before making all of the food and putting the effort into doing that. Sometimes Korean people ask what you like in advance, but they still mm. say this. Confusing, right? Um, is is this part of the culture of trying to be le- uh, more humble? Just <gasps> kind of like, yeah. Yes. So all these questions could be meaningless to a lot of people from other countries, but Koreans use these phrases so often. Next up, could you try reading those phrases? 언제 한번 놀러 와? 아, 다음에 밥 한번 먹자. 다음에 연락 걸게. Yes, almost perfect. 언제 한번 놀러 와? 다음에 밥 한번 먹자. 다음에 연락할게. 나중에 한번 보자. All these four phrases mean different things, but to Korean people, it basically means one thing. Let's go over one by one. 언제 한번 놀러 와? What does that mean? When do you have a moment to play? That's a direct translation, but... More okay. naturally. Do you have a moment to play? Or no? I guess I don't know. In that sentence, 놀러 와, 놀다 is definitely play. 언제, 한 번, someday, 한 번, once, 놀러 와, visit mm. me. Ah, okay. And the second one, 다음에 밥한번 먹자. What's 다음에? Next. Or mm. Next time. 다음에 밥한번 먹자. 밥 is meal. 한번 is once. One. Eat. Yep. Let's eat. eat. Let's eat. Someday. Okay. Next time. Okay. Let's 다음에 next time. 연락할게. 다음에 next time 연락할게. Mm-hmm. I okay. will. 할게 is I will. 연락. Mm. What's 연락? That sounds really familiar, actually. It's yeah. contact. Okay. I will contact, so you, contact you next, next time. time. What's okay. 나중에 한번 보자? Hanban poja would be also poja is like oh is this let's see each other next time or let's yes. see each other. Yes. 나중에 means later. Hanban is once. Poja mm-hmm. let's see, but the basic form is poda see to see. We say this when the parting or saying goodbye, but do they actually mean anything? No. 그냥 헤어지기 뭐해서 하는 말. It's basically a little bit more complicated and sophisticated way of saying goodbye to Korean people. Okay. I thought it was very interesting because this could be also confusing when you hear something like, okay, let's meet up next time. And then the person doesn't contact you. You might feel, why? What? That was a lie. But this is how we say goodbye. Even for me, these phrases sometimes hurt my feelings. <laughs> But these these mm. are the Korean way of saying goodbye. Okay. The last bit is 구경하고 올게요 and 생각해 볼게요. For this one, 구경하고 올게요 is often used when you are shopping. So you went to this shop. I always say this. 구경하고 올게요. 한 바퀴 돌고 올게요. 올게요 means will come. 구경하고 means look around. After I look around, I'll come back. Okay. 한번 보고 올게요. I will look around once and then I will come back. But will I come back? I'm guessing no. It's a no. Yeah. Also, the second phrase, 생각해 볼게요. What does that mean? 생각. 생각해. It's to think. Mm. 해 볼게요 means? So, 볼게요 is future tense. Yes. yes. But 해 볼게요 means? Oh, I'll think about doing it. Yes, I will think about okay. it. Yeah. This is also a, I'm not actually going to think about it. 
Yes. Okay. Business meeting or when you offer something.、Um, When I say no, I will usually say I will think about it, but that's a lie. No, 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 that's a no. Ah, okay. 생각해볼게요 means a no, but this doesn't apply all the time. So don't trust me 100% because some people have different personalities and they actually really need a lot of time to think. Korean people value this empty formality because we. Have this pressure to express modest modesty. There's the modesty, and then there's being accommodating, right? Because、mm. especially、mm. depending on the age differences, you can't just outright say no to s o m e t h i n g Yeah, yeah,、right? definitely. So this kind of became our culture to、uh, say pin mal. Pin mal is an empty word. Pin means empty. Piotta, empty word. Pin mal. We use pin mal a lot. Oh my goodness, this is so interesting because there are actually cases that foreign professors felt offended, didn't understand, feel bad.、Uh, we don't understand why they do this. So, this could also cause conflicts and misunderstanding. That's it. I can definitely see some of the cases where this would happen. Okay, so we covered those tricky phrases, and next time, I will we will talk about、uh, how to respond to these phrases. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you next time.